ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new phase of the lab. Because now you can see it in high definition, which gives me uh, allows me to do things that I couldn't do with the old camera, such as put monitors on here because they flick it to boogie with the old camera. And uh, if I keep looking off to the side, it's because I can now see myself on the display. Hello, uh, which is a little bit off-putting sometimes. I'll get used to it. Anyway, you can now see me in HD. Although this is not anywhere near the high settings of the camera because being uploaded to YouTube, YouTube's much lower quality than this camera is capable of, so you're not seeing me in full potential. But you can see, look at that. The hair's a mountain room to the shaves and chest today. Let's go fee bugger. And this thing's got face recognition, so it's putting a little square on my face all the time. Now, let's stop doing that, it's irritating. Okay, the reason for this video is there's been two types going around which I want to uh, get involved in. Uh, first one I've picked up on is Lawn Boy Post 1975, which is Why Do You Retro? Just get a little friend of mine from over here. Uh, ooh, okay, here's a prime example. Okay, why the hell do I play with things like this? Um, Ataris and Lynxes instead of things like Xbox and all that. Well, for me, there's several points. First of all, Let's get a retro joystick, and this will demonstrate it perfectly. Prior preparation prevents poor performance, sort of. Okay, this is a dusty retro joystick, and as you can see, it has a red button, an auto fire, a modern one, which I don't have any around, uses a hell of a lot more. And for a simpleton like me, it's very nice to have a well, fire button there as well. A fire button, fire button, and a joystick to work on. Yes. The thing that really gets me about modern consoles is all the bloody controls. There's millions of buttons, and then you've got combinations of buttons, which is a pain in the that thing there. Uh, yes, that, I hate that. And every game you play, they're laid out differently. So, different things do different things, you've got to learn them for every game. Then you go away from the game, and you come back, maybe a week later, and you've completely forgotten the controls. Ow! My foot's going into cramp. Ow! Okay, which leads me on to another point. Uh, the games themselves, modern games are large, epic. Take many, 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 many hours to play. And if you go away for a week, you, well I, completely forget how to play, what I was doing. If I was in the middle of a quest, I can't remember it. Which is, again, a bit of a pain. So, I prefer games like these ones. Well, this hasn't loaded any, but this one on the Archimedes here, which is uh, Star Fighter 3000. Which is just a simple shoot em up. I can pick it up, play it for half an hour, put it down. Modern games, for all their beauty and complexity, tend to bore me to tears after a short while. Because you're running around, everything's sort of samey to me. It repeats itself all the time. And another thing, reason I like to do a retro. Uh, Mark for here picked up on this, and apart from a bit of nostalgia, there isn't too much nostalgia for me here, because I had a VIC-20 and I've only got a couple of games for that. So, a lot of this stuff I never had, and so this is all new to me. Uh, but as he says, it's uh, a simple, safe place to be when you're retro gaming. It's not a complex world. Somewhere you can hide. Simple, protected sort of life. If you see what I mean. Don't know if you see. I barely see myself. 
Okay. Hmm. Nice Atari mug in high definition. Ah. Okay. Obviously I'm still experimenting with the high definition settings, so don't know if it's coming out well. We shall see. And just as necessary, later. Okay, for the second one is from Merck's MMRD. And this tag is about what is your what was your first computer. Now I'm assuming uh, that this is open to both consoles and computers for different people. Some people have console backgrounds, obviously, and some people are computers, like me. That's very off-putting, because when I put my hands to that side, it goes to the other side on the screen. Uh, they're going to get used to that eventually, but yes, it's still distracting. But it's handy, because I can see where I am on the screen, which I couldn't do on my old camera. Anyway, off subject, back to subject. My first computer, uh, oh, excuse me, was the venerable old Vic 20. Mm, Vic 20. Mm. <laughs> this one was uh, given to me as a gift by uh, uh, Mark, who's since disappeared. So, if you're out there, Mark. Thank you. Still, again. Uh, yes, it took me quite a while to get this back. Uh, my original went back several years ago home to recover it, and it had been chucked in a skip a couple of months before. So, this was my first computer. I used this from 1983 to, uh, I, till I went into the Air Force in 1996. So, the original one had a good run, and this one's getting an even good run because it's still going. And the irony is that uh, <coughs> Mark UK Retro Games provided me with the uh, DVC notes on top of here. Provided me with uh, the VIC 20 teaching, basic teaching course, which I also had because it came in the <coughs> in the pack up when this was new. So there we go. And that's where I first learned to sort of program. Still haven't made it fully. A little bit of jet fighting going on in the background. Okay. Now so that was my first computer <coughs> and you will see my present one because it's a few videos back. Now pickups on the screen Thou shalt see, playing away by itself there, a uh, dark light conflict on the Sega Saturn, which is that. Excellent. Not played it much yet, still in the training mode. It says four ninety nine there, but as you <coughs> can, it was three ninety nine when I uh, took it to purchase, and with this one. You can now read the script for yourself. Well, that's in German. Let's go that side. There we go. Transported across space to fly it. So there you go. Yeah. Eight minutes fifty four seconds so far. But I've got uh, I need three hours to play this. So <laughs> bit better than the old camera. Right? Right, and Larry Bundy Jr. I have you to thank <coughs> for this. Because on Twitter he put up a code for eBay which allows you <coughs> to which allowed you to order this from a website for free. So I got an eight gigabyte. <coughs> My throat's been a bit of a pain in the throat. Uh, yes, uh, memory card for free, which I'm going to be putting in the Raspberry Pi because we have ordered, obviously, a Raspberry Pi. And I'm looking at the screen against the camera, which is a bit. I'll be off putting for you. <laughs> yes, so let's see, restored. Let's take care. So, <coughs> excuse me. Yes, he put that up on Twitter, so I purchased that for free. Isn't that nice? So, thank you, Larry. 
and uh, yes, go and see Lawn Boy's original video, uh, Why You Do Retro, links below, and also Maximum RD's uh, original video about first computer, links below, and you can see other people's responses there too, and I will stop looking at that screen. And of course, this camera has allowed me to do this sort of thing, where I can talk to camera for ages and garble and spew rubbish. Because I don't have to worry about it running out of memory. Hello wifey, who's in a nice pink fluffy nighting gown. Hello, would you like to wave your bit of your arm in front of the camera so they can see your pink fluffiness? She's coming, she's coming slowly, slowly, here it comes. Oh fluffy, me like fluffy. Me go play with Fluffy. End of video. Bye bye. She's trying not to laugh out loud, ya. Laugh! You can laugh! She's shaking like she's shaking! She's shaking with laughter, but she doesn't want to make the it's a hero on the camera. <laughs> Sweet. I'm gonna put that in the title. Pink fluffiness. Ow! 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 Right. So, there you go. Uh, go see their videos, subscribe to them if you've not, because they're excellent channels and I shall see you next time in the Geek Club. Thank you very much.